All right, welcome back, guys. Let's take care of the comments area. And we'll begin by adding a div or a class of comments area and an ID of comments. Okay. Now I'm uh, giving this an ID of comments because it's gonna be useful for the link on top. Yeah, when we click this, it's gonna link to comments, to hash comments. Uh, that's uh, that's one of the classes that um, uh, WordPress uses for for the comments area. So uh, we'll begin with uh, where is the Photoshop right here? We'll begin with this. It's a, a link that we'll use to point to the comments form. So we're gonna say anchor tag. And let's give this a class. How should we call this? Let's see, article add comment should be pretty good. Okay, uh, the href will point this to respond. This will be the div or the container holding the comments form. Let's do two or 10. Okay. Uh, next one is an h3. It's the actual title, this one. So we'll say four comments to this article. And then finally, we have the actual comments. So I'm going to say ul with a class of comments list. I'm using an ordered list uh, because we want to display these numbers right here. Okay, so let's do these two comments. And let's begin with a list item. Okay, and that first list item, it's gonna hold an article with a header. Okay. Uh, and as you can see, we can use articles to to render comments because comments can be syndicated. And when you're using the article tag, uh, you're mainly using it for content that can be syndicated, like the actual articles or uh, comments or uh, you know stuff like that. So article and the header will contain all the information that we see right here so let's start with the the title here so header it's gonna be an h5 and we're gonna say an h5 with a link inside author name and then a paragraph and we need to represent this grade text right here so let's do a span inside that paragraph and we're gonna say on I'm just gonna copy this real quick okay and this is going to be a link the reply link Okay, so that is the header. Don't worry about this, the number one, number two, the numbering. We'll do that in CSS using some uh, pseudo elements and some CSS uh, counters. Okay, next up after the header is the content below. And we have an image for the avatar and we have the actual content. So let's start with the image since uh, it needs to be floated. So we'll do figure with a class of comment, uh, comment avatar. Okay, and this will contain a link 
with an image. The image, let's make it, uh, I think I'll do 80 by 80 for the initial avatars. I'll do avatar for alt. All right. And then we have the actual content. So I'm going to do paragraph. This is the actual comment. Now, what if uh, the user has disabled automatic posting for comments in the back end and the comments need moderation? We also need to show an image, uh, sorry, a message. Uh, to the user. So right here, I'm going to do a paragraph with a class of awaiting moderation. And we're just going to say your comment is awaiting moderation. Okay. Good. And that's the structure for one comment. Perfect. Let's do another list item. But this time, let's do a nested list. So right here, after the article tag, we'll do OL. And we're going to paste the same thing. Okay, so now we have two comments and one nested comment. Now for the second um, for the second comment, hold on, did I do something wrong here? No, okay, that's good. Uh, for the second comment, let's um, let's add this bit, the admin. So I'm going to do a span in the H5, and I'm just going to say admin. OK, that's good. Let's also see an H5 without a link inside it. We need to style that as well, since not everyone who comments will, uh, will input a website. OK, let's see it without the awaiting moderation paragraph. Okay, awaiting uh, comment avatar. Over, all right, so our structure is almost done. There is one uh, last thing we need to do. And that is the comments navigation. Because uh, when using WordPress, you can also set to have multiple, uh, to display the comments on multiple pages. Okay, so hmm, let's see, oh well, after we're, we're done with the main list, we're gonna do a div with a class of comment, comments, nav section. And inside that, we're going to have two paragraphs. Paragraph for the class of float left, which contains a link, plus paragraph for the class of float right, which contains another link. And since we're floating elements, add a class of clear fix to their parent. Oops. Let's see if that works. Okay, um, let's see. We'll do older comments and newer comments. And also, let's add something like this. Oops. 
newer comments, older comments. Okay. So this time, let's uh, we're finished with this, of course, the main comments. It's time to do the comment form. So let's jump back to Coda. And let's see below the below this one. All right here. We'll start with div and we'll give it an ID of respond. Okay, remember the link we did above? This one? Well, it's gonna point to our comment form. Okay, this one pretty straightforward. We'll do an H, uh, H. What is it? H three. Okay, and we're gonna say leave a reply, and that's gonna be followed by a form action method. Post. Let's give this an ID of comment form. Okay, the structure, uh, pretty simple. We have an input and a label, and we'll wrap these in a paragraph. So, paragraph with input plus label. Okay, let's do this first. Okay. Input type is going to be text. Value is going to be none. We'll give it a name, author, and an ID of author. Okay. And of course, the label for author. Copy that two more times. Okay, and now we'll have the email. So we'll say email, email required and not published, or rather will not be published. Okay, and then we have the website. And let's see, actually, I'm gonna name this URL, not website. I'm gonna do website here. And of course, the website is not required. Label for URL. Okay, next up, is the the actual the, the actual body the comment input so we'll use a text area for that uh, let's see input we don't have a label first of all and I'll just use a text area and I'll give it a name of comment an ID of comment and calls 30 rows 10 okay that's pretty good okay and finally we'll do a paragraph with an input type submit and value it's going to be submit comment okay um, let's see did we forget anything No, I don't think so. Let's see. Okay, we have the form, we have the text area, and finally the submit comment. All right, guys. Well, uh, this is it for uh, for this video. In the next one, we'll start writing some CSS for uh, the markup we just wrote. So thank you for watching. I will see you very soon. Bye bye.